Hello everyone, my name is Mavis Bean. I'm a critical care nurse in Bethesda, Maryland. And today I'm gonna to show you how to set up a basic pressure line that you can use to transduce an arterial waveform or a central venous pressure waveform. Um, so to start with, um, I'm just gonna tell, explain to you a few of the items required. I do have this um, already set up here to show to you, but I will explain how to get it all ready. Uh, so, What's required is your pressure bag, a liter of normal saline unless otherwise specified by the provider, your pressure tubing or transducer tubing, and the cable which will connect to, uh, from the transducer to your monitor. So basically, just to set it all up, I've already got this tubing out of the package here for you. Um, I didn't want to open the package, uh, but I did want to show you what it looks like inside the package. This is what it comes like and it comes with uh, labels that you can label whether you're transducing an arterial waveform or a CVP waveform on your holder, which is one of the other required items here. Uh, the holder will place the transducer near the patient's heart, which is where you will level the uh, transducer. So to start with, obviously you will uh, undo your package. You will spike the fluid bag with the, with the spike. Uh, go ahead and turn off the roller clamp just so, to make sure that you don't get a lot of fluid coming through. You shouldn't unless you were, are, are pinching the, the, the prongs here, but just in case, it's just a good habit to just close your roller clamp. After you get it out of the package, you also want to make sure that these ports here, there are two ports that will come with white caps on them. Those white caps do have holes, so the fluid will come through those holes. So after you open your package, you wanna make sure to change the white caps to the yellow caps. The yellow caps are solid, and when you put those on and you prime your line, it, fluid will not flow out of those caps. So after you spike your, your fluid bag, you can increase the pressure bag here, pumping the bulb up until you reach approximately 300 millimeters of mercury of pressure, or the, or the green color is a good indicator. After you're done uh, pressurizing the bag, you will turn the stopcock off to the bag or in the up position. Um, after you pressurize your bag, you will, um, you will take your transducer here and you will put it on the holder approximately level with the patient's heart. And to prime your line, of course, take the cap off the end here, maintaining sterility. But to prime your line, you will pinch these prongs here. Of course, undo the roller clamp. Making sure all of your stopcocks are off to the port so fluid can flow through. You will pinch these prongs right here and fluid will come through and you will prime, you will need to prime all the air out of the tubing. Now, some facilities have um, have uh, transducer tubing that will have a pigtail instead of these uh, pinching prongs. So instead you will just pull the pigtail out and that will prime the fluid through. Once that's done, you will put the sterile cap back on the end and you can hang it up on your IV pole until the physician is ready to uh, attach it to the patient when they are done inserting the line. And you said that's leveled at, at where on the patient? So this port right here will be leveled at, a, at the patient's heart or the phlebostatic axis. The phlebostatic axis will be at the mid axillary line in the fourth intercostal space. Um, after you get it set up here and it's waiting, you can go ahead and attach our cable our cable will, one end will look like a telephone jack. That's where you'll plug it into your transducer. So you'll plug those two ends together here. And then you will plug this other end into the monitor. And to zero, once you get it plugged into the monitor, you will want to zero your arterial line. To, so to zero your arterial line on your monitor, all, all the monitors are different, but um, on your monitor, there should be an option to select your arterial waveform or CVP waveform. You can touch it, and then there should be an option to zero the waveform. Once you do that, uh, before you do that, I'm sorry, you will need to, um, you will turn the stopcock here above the transducer. You will turn it off to the patient. 
this rigid tubing will be going to the patient. So you don't want to zero the patient, obviously. You don't want to zero to the patient. You will turn it off to the patient. You will open your, your port here. This will be now open to atmospheric air. This is where you want to zero your, your arterial line or your CVP. So after you open this, you will go to your monitor, you will select zero, and you will see the zero pop up. Once that happens, you can come back, put the cap back on, and you will turn the stopcock then off to the port. And now the transducer is reading the patient's waveform. I hope that helps.